Okay, today I'm gonna show you a quick, a quick uh, video to how to uh, fix temporary or yeah, like I said, temporary, so you can do it the right way later. Okay, I'm not a technician. I'm not. I'm just a handy guy that I fix uh, my own stuff. Okay, so very careful. Uh, take your precautions. You know, I'm not responsible if you if you get hurt, anything. Just just be careful okay okay anyway so today I I came to my uh, uh, brother-in-law house and we tried to turn the heat on and it didn't work um, last year uh, actually around this time I fixed this one uh, by replacing the uh, furnace I mean the uh, what was the name uh, the, the inducer I'm sorry my little boy is here next to me watching uh, cartoons okay anyways so this is what it does okay it doesn't turn on at all only the fans go on this little inducer uh, the motor the blower inducer is the only one is working okay I check the filter check every everything else and it's good and then uh, I high code um, I'm gonna just wait until the uh, the uh, uh, igniter it turned off by itself because it turns on like right now and it's turned off by itself after this well, I'm, gonna check the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna check the uh, uh the code that is giving me okay okay so now i'm gonna just uh, uh i just remove the the top the cover at the bottom of the uh where the um motherboard where the board is Okay, so I'm gonna just press uh, the uh, the switch, so it will start uh, doing the side uh, the cycle. So I'm gonna sh uh, see if the uh, the two green lights look solid, so that's normal. Okay, we check the air fit that you can see is is uh, is clean. So I'm just gonna just uh, wait to the uh, cycle ends okay so so it can give me the code okay after this cycle ends it's gonna give me a code it's gonna flash the light so I'm gonna see what code is that okay just wait until the cycle ends because it's, it's not gonna turn on at all it's just the, the the, the igniter that's the only thing it turns on and the inducer okay in this case so I'm just waiting to just to finish the cycle so that I can see which code is, is giving me okay there you go this one two one two okay so it's two flashes guys so I'm gonna go now on to rim codes and see what the two flashes means and I'm gonna put it right right now here on the screen, okay? Stay with me and we'll see. Two flashes, that's the code that I, I have on this furnace. Two blinks of the light, two seconds pass pressure switch open. Okay, here is a better detail of what that means, the two blinks. So you can read it, you can pause it if you can. So it could be a block bent, it could be a defected switch uh, pressure itself, or any um, connection, electrical connection wiring that is not uh, getting power to the pressure switch. In this case, uh, I, I'm going to uh, test the switch. I'm going to show you a quick tip that I learned from someone else online, of course, on another video on YouTube that he did this as well. You know, I'm, I'm not a technician or HVAC. I'm just fixing my own stuff when I, when I can, right? If it's very, very something very hard, just call your technician. Don't try to do it yourself. Okay. So I'm gonna remove the uh, pressure switch. So I'm gonna just show you real quick what I did. I just took it off. You're not. If okay. if you don't wanna take it off, that's fine. All you gotta do is a new a, a new hose like this, 
is for like uh, just to blow and suction air yeah. into the uh, pressure switch. Yeah, do this way and it's gonna work temporarily, okay? So you need to replace the pressure switch. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it, I'm gonna blow it into the tube. Use another little uh, hose. Uh, I didn't use it because it was just quick, quick video, quick uh, fix. So, like, this, this is like a vacuum vacuum uh, pressure switch so just blow it in there suction it blow and suction yeah just like that do it a few times okay and then with this uh, quick tip is gonna fix your furnace back again it's gonna start working back again so I'm gonna put it back on and you will see how it's gonna work now Y pues, vamos a ver Just like, uh, okay, I already put the uh, pressure switch back on, it's the same one, and then uh, just, uh, I'm just going to wait, I'm going to turn it on now, so you can see what will be the difference between this one, and uh, just make sure everything is tight. All the wires back in there, just see for any suspicious wires hanging out or damage, defected. And then remember, this code means, it's a rim code, means a pressure switch is open. Sometimes it doesn't mean that the switcher pressure itself is defected, but sometimes, like in this case, it was defected because it got stuck the diaphragm inside it got stuck okay that's why it did, didn't uh send the uh, the sign to the uh furnace to start heating it up okay so just with this quick video uh hopefully you can fix your own furnace when this happened to you i'm gonna to turn it on right now and the temperature in the house is 66 i put in, in 73 so here's the igniter it's gonna turn on right now give it a few seconds and we'll see the difference the inducer is a motor inducer is working so i'm just waiting for that flame come out okay yes yes wait i'm sorry my little kid is here with me so just wait wait for it wait for it and here here it is see perfecto now it's working we got a we have a gas furnace heating up again in this cold weather in texas all right guys so that's all i wanna just to share with you a quick tip to how to turn it on i had another guy that showed the same trick and then thank you for him i, I, I forgot his name of course right and then uh but this is what happened so i want to share it with you as well to to let you know that it's working okay let me just go ahead and and uh and leave it on until it gets it gets it, it, it reached the temperature 72 73 so, so that would be nice and, and cool and, and, and warm in here in this house okay so so this is it just make sure the pressure switch this is a temporary fix just go get a new pressure switch and then you can install it okay because it's gonna, it's gonna probably get stuck later again because it's probably a lot of debris inside okay so that's it thank you very much for watching guys hopefully this one works with you just fine okay all right i'm gonna check temperature 107 is getting heat it's getting warm just check the other vents make sure everything works fine i'm gonna have to move this big speaker because it's on the way uh it's blocking a little bit of the air but uh that's it just make sure nothing on the vents is blocking the vents okay 
Let me check this band right here in this room. It's 122. Cool, cool. And thank you for all my amigos. Thank you for the guy that who made this video pretty hit. Pretty handy. It's 122 again, Akir. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Everything works fine. Just great right now.